All right, hey, my name is Terrence. You should know that by now. I've been doing this the whole entire year. Um, I would have a PowerPoint, but this sitting, sitting today, I don't know what happened. So I'm just going to say what I have to say. And like, so, all right. My speech is on spontaneous. Living life spontaneously. And that means um, living life one day at a time. Like you can't just plan everything. Um, carpe diem. Carpe diem means <coughs> seize the day in Latin. And that sums living life day after day after day in two words. <coughs> the first time I came in contact with this word was when I watched the movie Dead Poet Society. And that by that actor, that guy, Robin Williams. Um, and what he, the way he expressed that word, he expressed it throughout the whole entire movie. And he challenged his students to seize the day. He, challenged, he wanted to challenge the school fundamentals. He wanted to challenge life. He challenged his students to be the change that they wanted to see in the world. And that's a quote from Gandhi, um, another good person. Um, uh, people say living life schedule can be the best way because they think they should have their life planned out because they want to have that perfect life. But no life is perfect, and no life will ever be perfect for you. There's always going to be failures, and you just got to get back and get and try again. Living spontaneously has pros and they have <coughs> cons, like everything else in life. Um, one of the pros of living spontaneously is you know, you will see little things in life. You'll start to Like, you'll start to, what's the word, acknowledge and be grateful. There you go. That's the word I want. Be grateful. And being grateful is the greatest thing you can be. Like, living life that way can be perfect, to be honest. I mean, who wakes up every night? I'm up well, morning. <laughs> and just thinks, oh wow, warmth. I'm waking up under a roof. There's lights. I can go and take a shower or brush my teeth. Like, you aren't, you aren't worrying about every time you turn that faucet, that water's going to come out. Or every time you flip that switch, the light's going to come on. Mm -hmm. Who ever thinks about those things? The second pro is reduce stress. If you're scheduling your life and you want to live your life on a schedule, you're you're restricting yourself. You <coughs> don't have time. You're be busy. You don't have time for friends. You don't have time for yourself, and you're going to be very stressed. Um, my third pro is. You see a lot more opportunities. Um, living life schedule, you can miss great opportunities that you can see that are like they're right in front of you, but you're too busy looking at a big picture, you're gonna miss that goal. And that that could be the difference between you living somewhere on the street or you in a penthouse or wherever you would like to live. Um, some cons of living life spontaneously is that you won't be prepared or you just feel that you don't have a game plan and you fall and you fall hard and you just feel like you can't get back up again. Um, 
My choice is living life spontaneously. <coughs> you can live life both ways. Your life's still not going to be perfect. There's going to be failures, and it's going to be good times. But you just got to remember, you got to keep getting back up and trying again. Um, people might say it's stupid, but let them say what they got to say. Let them be the haters. You just be great. I'm done.